who are student activists under the banner of the PYA to be irrelevant to the masses of our people. The leaders who are on the ground, who experience the challenges of our people. We lead our people where they want to be led, but the ANC doesn't call us to go to the press conference. We all agree that the fees must fall has been hijacked. Yes. Because there is a vacuum that was created by the African nation. And we call you all of us. PYA withdraw, the ANC leaks a business for them. Now, students are leading themselves. We don't know where they are leading themselves to. Because there is no leadership there. The ANC withdraw its leadership. Now it is crying foul. Campuses are burning. Because there is no leadership there. We urge the ANC to tell us to take our rightful position as students. Now, let us talk about the challenges that we face as students and the education system itself. Yes. South Africa is a peculiar country. We had a colonization of a special time. A colonization that has never been seen before. Yes, a lot of countries were colonized. Zimbabwe was colonized, but Zimbabwe was colonized by the British. They gave them the best education ever. Yeah. Even today, those who go to class with Zimbabwe, they'll show you flames. Yeah. Yeah. You go to class, when they are doing mathematics, those people are computers. Yeah. You, you, you end up, you hate to love them. Yeah. Because all of us, we just look upon them. They do from six. Yes. They do a level. Yes. That's a British system. Yes. A system that cared about human capital. Yes. Not the evil system that colonized us. Yes. That saw us as non-human. Yes. Things that must be made and we are fine there as cutting boys. We are fine where we were. Yes. Now, when we talk about the higher education itself, you look at universities. How universities came about. When the universities, when the apartheid government brought universities, they brought universities to maintain colonialism, separation, racism, and patriarchy. Yes. That's how universities are structured, yes. and they still remain the same. Yes. When the ANC government delivered us into a, a, a freedom in 1994. <coughs> they adopted the system as it was. Yeah. <laughs> the same vice chancellor who was vice chancellor in kicking out black people in the 70s and 80s is still a vice chancellor. Yes. <laughs> when you look at the council, which is 100% white in Stalingrad. Hey. That's a question that I'm going to give back to the African National Congress. Yes. Where are our black academics? Yes. Because the ANC that produced Minister Pondo produced her. They took her from nowhere, they took her overseas to study there, to be what she is today. Where are our black academics? 1994 moving forward. Yes. Those are the issues. We understand that 20 years, because in as much as we put pressure on the African National Congress, as we are academics, as we are intellectuals, as we are the brains, we must also provide, we must think for the African National Congress. When we say 20 years into democracy, we must also look how many years it takes to produce a prophet. Yeah. It's more than 20 years. Yeah. But it is the system that makes it to be difficult to produce black professors because even if you are a black academic they won't give you the opportunity to publish your work black professors must leave Stalingrad black professors must go to those stupid universities in Turkey and what have you to produce to publish because
because the top five universities is a no go area. They are maintaining white supremacy. Because, because we are young and we love that national complex. But the minister will never leave the ANC.